sometime in the early morning I just had this feeling this I'm back and back whatever that is and it's and it was all about this uh, state of mind that is very very vibrant and wanting to extend and it's involuntary you can't even hold it back and I really felt like this wind like within me and it was all like and I could like really feel that that one uh, that it cannot be controlled like it's just gonna take me where it's gonna take me and it's all it'll just take a full surrender it's not even my choice and the prayer is always here like help me uh, help me give it all away. Spirit, how do I give it all away? Just help me. Not wanting to hold back uh, even a little bit. Nothing. Take it all. Take me. Like, take it. Take it all. And uh, and this is the state of mind that we're invited to call it um, the strawberry state of mind. And we do have, um, we do have a festival coming in, but the more and more the feeling it has nothing to do with the festival, it has nothing to do with the event, as if it's um, the event, it is really the state of mind, and I know like all of us, we've been in the state of mind for, actually for always, I, I wanted to say for a long time, but always, <laughs> like in this place, it's like nothing else is real, nothing else exists, there is nothing else, I want this and something else like that, there isn't, there is no such thing as something else or someone else, somebody, even people. Like it's not a place of people. It's it's just a place of the whole merge, true like uh, true merge with the spirit, and which is which is the prayer of the heart. And I had this I I had this scene from Inception where uh, I think it was the wall of Leonardo when she says. You're waiting for a train that will take you somewhere, but you don't, but you don't know for sure, because you don't. You're really trusting, but it doesn't matter because all that, all that matters that we're going to be together, right? And that was exactly the feeling and the even like the swiftness of it. It's like you don't know for sure, but like take me, take me now, and that pure feeling of just I'm ready, like I'm just. I'm ready. Nothing else. Nothing else to say. Not even knowing. Ready for what? It's just like I'm ready. I'm clear. I'm with you. Let's go. And it's amazing. And the thing is, it's like it was all about the flow. What's in the flow? And it's really not about people. Like really isn't. It's just really answering that call within. Like I'm ready. Just saying I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. And see who joins you. And it's always such a treat because you never know. And it's always like, you, you, oh my God. Like, it's always like, it's, all, it's always the feeling. It's like, uh, it's all the loves of your lives. It's like, really? You don't even think about it, but it's always such a, almost like such a surprise. It's always like, wow, wow. It's like, it's a, like once again, it's just such an amazing journey. It's all about this amazing movement in the mind. And it's just really opening, like, it feels like new kingdoms are being opened all the time. You know, like, just a new, like, discovering new into kingdoms of heaven. Yeah, a lot of us, have, even who came through yeah. Christian traditions and Judeo Christian traditions, you know, most we would here that kind of resonated was, you know, sometimes bring the kingdom of heaven to earth, but it's clear that Jesus was not talking about a kingdom of heaven that really could be brought to earth. He would say things like, my kingdom is not of this world. He didn't say, my kingdom is on earth. And then we read things, be in the world but not of it. You know, I'm calling you out of the world. Oh, Oh, that's, that's pretty radical, but be in the world but not of it. In the end, we have to see that that the present moment is the closest approximation to eternity that this world offers. And we have to come to an admission that while we have a lot of future goals and ambitions and strivings going on, and we're efforting to try to make a better life in the world, that we're, at, we're not really actually following the teachings of Jesus Christ. You can't really mix the kingdom of heaven and eternity with linear time. 
and and yet it's not like Jesus is saying, okay, in order to reach the kingdom of heaven, you must be lazy, uh, or you must come into inertia, <laughs> or you know, something like that. He's basically saying, you know, be still. The vibrancy is in the moment. The vibrancy is in the spontaneity. The vibrancy is is not trying to find consistency in form, not trying to find continuity in form, uh, not trying to find um, the everlasting in the temporary. <coughs> you can't find it. The whole human experience, what we call a human being, is really nothing more than the attempt you know, to find love in form, or to find eternity in time. So it's this surrender or letting go, and, and there can be a moment of a gasp, like a fear of, oh, I'll lose myself if I, if I just let go into that. But amazingly, everything is still flowing just so perfectly when you let go of the quest to try to make something of this world. And you really let go from trying to make anything happen in the world or figure anything out in the world, then all is abundantly provided because it's all it's all your mind. It's all your mind in, in alignment with God. But you're not trying to control it at all. There's absolutely no control over the world. <laughs>